Uh, Micronova are small versions of well-known Nova and Supernova. Uh, in a classical Nova, what happens is uh, white dwarfs, which are uh, objects uh, with the mass of the Sun but the size of the Earth, they pull in material from a companion star, usually fresh hydrogen, and they build a layer around their surface. And when, once this layer uh, grows in temperature and pressure, the whole layer ignites thermonuclearly. Micronova, on the other hand, occur when the white dwarf is magnetic, and the magnetic field keeps the flow confined to a very small region onto the surface. And when, once this region gets hot enough and, and of high enough pressure, then only this region ignites, producing what we now know as a micronova. We have, with my collaborators, we have a, a program on TESS uh, to observe accreting white dwarfs. Now TESS is a, an exoplanet finding mission, uh, which looks at brightness variations of stars to look for transiting exoplanets. We have a program on TESS to look at accreting white dwarfs since 2018 now, and we have hundreds of light curves, i.e. monitoring the brightness variations of these objects. And the, the light curves we get are extraordinar extraordinarily interesting uh, and show a wide variety of behavior, but there was one specific uh, feature which kept us um, essentially awake at night for, for over a year. We couldn't explain it, until we, we, we made finally a connection that these may be thermonuclear explosions happening on, on accreting white dwarfs. We've known for uh, centuries of classical nova explosions, which are the result of building fresh uh, hydrogen on the surface layers of white dwarfs. Uh, what micronova are telling us is that these explosions can occur on localized areas of the white dwarf. And these areas are localized because of the strong magnetic field of the white dwarf itself that allows material to be funneled into a very small region uh, until the temperature and pressure can grow to such an extent where that region only explodes thermonuclearly. Discovering micronova feels exciting. Uh, the reason is that these accreting white dwarfs are well-known systems. Some of them have well-known names taken from the constellation they, they reside. And so for that reason, we thought we know them quite well. So discovering a new phenomena in something which supposedly is a well-known object, I think just goes to show how much more there is to find out. Uh, and that's, I think, what makes it exciting. What we hope to uh, learn now is to really understand what truly triggers these micronova events. We have a, a, a model which we think explains our current observations, but we're not yet sure. And so the only way really to find out is to find more micronova, uh, which supposedly are, are plentiful, they're just really hard to find. And having found more micronova, hopefully we can try and develop our theories onto uh, how thermonuclear explosions can actually occur when material is magnetically confined onto a white dwarf.